assure uh, Chuck to Martin that Irish America knows Sinn Féin's policies. It's very, very clear that we receive our policies. We receive our support there, despite some of them disagreeing with our policies, because we have a United Ireland strategy, which we are working, because we have a peace strategy, because we are working, and because most of the Irish in America are there because of the punitive austerity policies pursued by Fianna Fáil-led governments and by this government. And, you know, the links between the US and Ireland, we all know them, and they are many. Uh, and that was very clear during the recent negotiations at Stormont House. And I, I want to commend President Obama's envoy, Senator Gary Hart, who was regularly in touch, offering his support and advice. And I thank him for that. And I've been in touch with him and with uh, Megan O'Sullivan and with Richard Haas, who actually gave us the template for what we eventually agreed at Stormont. And I want to thank, I've, I met Ambassador O'Malley also during that period. I want to thank him for his support and to commend especially the U.S. Consulate General, Greg Burton, who's actually leaving uh, soon, but who was omnipresent during those uh, talks. So there's still lots of work to be done. And I, I, I note that uh, Chuck de Martin made no mention of the threat once again uh, against the life of the Deputy First uh, Minister by so-called dissident elements, and it shows that we can't take this peace process for granted, and we continue to keep working to make it a reality for more and more people. Coming to the, the nub of my questions, which are about the uh, illegals in America, and particularly the initiative taken by the U.S. President, which was broadly welcomed by most Irish American uh, groups, and I know that you know Taoiseach, you know Kieran Stanton and of his work on behalf of the undocumented, and I want to commend the work of U.S. Ambassador Ann Anderson and our consular staff. But you, you wrote back to President Obama after his announcement, and you said there would be some capacity for the undocumented Irish to travel home, and that the full details of this would be worked out. Could you tell us if these details have been worked out? Could you tell us uh, what resources are being given by the Department of Foreign Affairs and by our diplomatic services to help those who would benefit potentially from President Obama's executive order? And you know, and you, you actually alluded to this, that there's a fear that one executive order by one president can be reversed by another president, and there are others who fall outside the scope of this new arrangement. So will you be raising this issue when you return God's version? to the states in March? Would you raise it with Republican leaders as well as with the uh, President? And do you accept, and I was there and witnessed your very forthright uh, push for, for citizenship, for citizens there, for legal rights for citizens there, but can you continue to press and encourage the White House for a more comprehensive and bipartisan legislative bill which would give these undocumented a path towards citizenship? Thank you. Could I ask the Deputy, would you like to put your questions? Because I'm just conscious of the clock. Thank you. I'll be brief because there's a huge number of issues. I'll just take one. Um, Taoiseach, we 